Hello students, today we are here with our next lecture of human reproduction and in this video we will discuss about the different types of placenta. It means we will discuss about the classification of placenta. In our previous video we had discussed the structure and the functions of placenta. First of all we have to know about uh, what is the maternal and what is the fetal, fetus part of the placenta. So first of all we have to know the fetal part and the maternal part of the placenta. This is the fetal part and here it is the maternal part of placenta. The fetal part of placenta it is having a blood vessel this is the blood vessel blood vessel of fetus it is surrounded by some connective tissue so this is the connective tissue around the blood vessel this is the connective tissue here the membrane which is called as chorion which give rise to the chorionic villi clear so this is the membrane of Corion, it will give to the formation of chorionic villi. So this is the fetal part of the placenta in which a blood vessel is there and some connective tissue is found around the blood vessel and the chorionic part of the fetus because the chorionic part of the fetus will give rise to the chorionic villi which will embedded in the um, uh, maternal part. Okay. Here this is the blood vessel filled with the blood. This is the blood vessel of maternal part. Again it surrounds by a connective tissue. So this is the connective tissue present around the blood vessel of mother. And here the endometrium layer. This is the endometrium. Clear? So this is the maternal part of the placenta. All of these fetal and maternal part will combine to give rise to a complete placenta. Both of these, the fetal part and the maternal part are separated with the help of uh, six layers. First, the membrane of blood vessel, first layer. Second one is the connective tissue of the fetal part. And third one is the chorion of fetal part. Three layers are there. Fourth one is the endometrium of the uterus or the maternal part. Fifth one is the connective uh, tissue of the maternal part. And the membrane of the blood vessel of the maternal part. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the six layers which separate the maternal part and the fetal part of the placenta. Now come to the point that is classification of placenta. First, different bases are there for the classification of placenta. First one is the basis of uh, types of placenta on the basis of histology. First basis is on the basis of histology. So first of all we have to know about what are the different types of placenta on the basis of histology. First type of placenta is called as epitheliochorial type of placenta. Clear? First type on the basis of histology is epitheliochorial type of placenta. So it is epitheliochorial type of placenta. In this type of placenta, all the six layers present in between the fetal and maternal part are remains as it is. It means all the six layers are present in between the fetal and maternal part. That is 
the blood vessel of the fetus connective tissue chorion of the fetus endometrium of the maternal part connective tissue of the maternal part and here the blood vessel of the maternal part all these six layers are present this type of placenta is called as epithelio corial type of placenta and this type of placenta is basically found in horse pigs and in asses example in horse pigs and asses the type of placenta is present which is epithelio corial placenta in which six layers are present in between fetal and maternal part clear so first type is epithelio corial placenta now the second time type is syndesmo corial placenta second type of placenta on the basis of histology is syndesmo corial placenta in this type of placenta the chorionic membrane of the um, fetal part will digest the endometrium of the maternal part so here the endometrium of the maternal gets lost so only the five membranes or the five layers are present so only five layers are present in the syndesmo corial type of placenta and these five layers are blood vessel of fetal part connective tissue of fetus chorion of the fetus connective tissue of the maternal part and blood vessel of the maternal part here the endometrium is digested by the enzymes secreted by the chorionic part of the uh, fetal part of the placenta this type of placenta is present in cow sheep for example this is present in cow sheep camel goats etc buffalo it means in the cattle the type of placenta which is present in is syndesmo corial type of placenta now the third type that is endothelio corial type of placenta the third type on the basis of histology is third type is endothelio corial placenta in this type of placenta one more layer that is the connective tissue part of the maternal part is also digested by the uh, chorionic enzymes so here only the four layers are present only the four layers are present that is blood vessel of the fetal part connective tissue of the fetus chorion of the fetus and now only the blood vessel of the maternal part clear so 1 2 3 and 4 layers are uh, present in between the fetal and maternal part of the uh, placenta this type of placenta is basically present in cat dog for example cat dog carnivores like lion tiger etc in this type of placenta only the four layers are present now the third type of placenta that is called as hemochorial placenta the fourth type on the basis of histology that is hemochorial placenta and in this type of placenta the blood vessel of maternal part is also digested by the enzymes secreted by the chorion so only the three layers are present in between the maternal and fetal part of the placenta that is the blood vessel of the placenta blood vessel of the fetus connective tissue of the fetus and 
chorion of the fetus here the uh, blood of maternal part is there so the membrane of the blood vessel is also digested by the chorionic enzymes so only the three layers of uh, uh, three layers are present in between fetus and maternal part of the placenta this type of placenta is present in the human beings and all other primates clear so this is the characteristic feature of the primates in which the placenta is of hemochorial type now the fifth one type is also there that is hemoendotheliochorial placenta yeah hemoendothelio uh, placenta that is the fifth one type that is hemoendothelial placenta in which only the blood vessel of the fetus is present the fifth type on the basis of histology that is hemoendothelial placenta in this type of placenta only blood vessel of fetus is present this type of placenta is basically present in uh, rodents rabbits etc example that is rodents rabbits in these organisms hemoendothelial type of placenta is present so on the basis of histology the type of placenta is five types Uh, first type is epitheliochorial placenta second one is syndesmochorial placenta in which the five layers are present third one is endotheliochorial placenta in which the four layers are present in between fetus and the maternal part of placenta fourth one is hemochorial placenta which is present in human beings and only the three layers are present between fetal and maternal part and the fifth one is that is hemoendothelial placenta in which only the blood vessel is present uh, which is of the fetal part these are the five important types of placenta on the basis of histology now the second basis on the basis of origin or on the basis of layers from they are formed of so on the basis of origin how many types of placenta are there second type that is on the basis of origin on the basis of origin the placenta is basically of three types that is yolk sac placenta second one is allantoic placenta and third one is chorionic placenta in the type of yolk sac placenta the two membranes are present that is yolk sac membrane and the chorion clear first type is yolk sac placenta and this placenta is made up of two types of membranes they are yolk sac yolk sac plus chorion these two membranes will give rise to the yolk sac type of placenta and this type of placenta is present in marsupials marsupials like kangaroo clear in this type of organisms the yolk sac type of placenta is present it means the placenta is formed of yolk sac and the chorion second type of placenta is called as allantoic placenta second one is allantoic placenta this is again an extra embryonic membrane now we will discuss about these membranes later on so allantois is also an extra embryonal membrane in this type of placenta allantois and chorion is participating it means the two membranes are also there that is allantois and chorion 
in this type of placenta in allantoic type of placenta the two membranes are present and this type of placenta is basically present in eutherians in eutherians allantoic type of placenta is present the third type that is called as chorionic placenta the third type on the basis of origin is chorionic placenta and this type of placenta is only made up of the chorionic membrane only the chorion is responsible for the formation of this type of placenta that's why it is called as chorionic placenta and it is basically present in human beings and all the primates clear so these are the three types of placenta on the basis of their origin uh, here you are seeing that chorion is the membrane which is taking part in all type of placental development it means the chorionic membrane is the membrane which takes part in the development of all type of placenta while the amnion is the membrane which is not taking part in the formation of placenta here no amnion is there amnion is the another extra embryonic membrane where the embryon amnion is not taking part in the formation of placenta only the chorionic membrane is there which will take part in the all type of the placenta so you have to remember this next one is on the basis of behavior during parturition here which type of behavior is shown by the placenta at the time of parturition parturition means at the time of the birth of a child so on the basis of behavior at the time of parturition which type of behavior is shown by the placenta at the time of child birth on this basis we will divide the placenta in three categories first one is deciduate placenta first type is called as deciduate placenta it means at the time of parturition decidua decidua is the maternal part of the placenta it means at the time of parturition the maternal part as well as the fetal part of the placenta has been lost so here decidua is the maternal part so complete decidua or the maternal part and fetal part both has been lost in this type of placenta both of the placental part maternal part as well as the fetal part has been lost and they uh, remove out of the body after the birth of a child this type of placenta is called as deciduate placenta and it is present in human beings and all the primates so in human being the placenta is hemochorial first category first basis that is hemochorial second basis is membrane that is chorionic and third one is deciduate clear so here the deciduate type of placenta is present in the human beings the second one is non deciduate placenta second type in is non deciduate placenta and in this type of placenta this is non deciduate placenta in this type only the fetal part has lost only fetal part has lost and the maternal part retained in the body maternal part retained or reabsorbed reabsorbed by the female clear this type of placenta is basically present in cattle that is uh, cow buffalo goats 
horse, pigs, etc. So the example cattle, horse, pigs, etc. In which only the fetal part has been lost and the maternal part uh, is reabsorbed by the female body. Third type of placenta that is called as contra deciduate placenta. Third type is called as contra deciduate placenta. And in this type of placenta, both maternal and fetal part is retained. No one is lost from the body. Both of the part uh, are retained in the body of the uh, female. This type of placenta is basically present in moles. Here, yeah, so these three types of placenta that is deciduate in which both maternal and fetal part has been lost. Non-deciduate in which only the fetal part has been lost and the maternal part is reabsorbed. And contra-deciduate in which uh, neither male, neither maternal nor the fetal part has been lost. Both of the part has been retained in the body of the female. For example, in moles. The fourth type, the fourth basis on the basis of distribution of villi. Fourth type of placenta is on the basis of distribution of chorionic villi. Here how the chorionic villi are distributed on the basis of distribution of Villi. On this basis, the first type of placenta is called as diffused placenta. And in this type of diffused placenta, the chorionic villi are present all over the uh, uh, body of the uh, fetus. Clear? This type of placenta is uh, the villi or the chorionic villi are present all over. Clear? So in diffused placenta, Villies are present all over the embryo. The complete part is covered with the chorionic villies. This type of placenta is basically present in horse, pigs. Horse uh, and pigs. They have this type of placenta. Second type is called as Zonary placenta. In this type of zonary placenta, only the villi are present at the one part and rest of the part is uh, uncovered with the villi. So, only one part or one side is covered with placenta. That type of placenta is called as zonary placenta and the example is dog, cat, lion, tiger, etc. So this type of placenta is present in the uh, dog, cat, lion in which the placenta, uh, the chorionic villi are present only at the one part. Third type of placenta is called as Cotyledonary placenta. The third type is cotyledonary placenta in which third type that is cotyledonary placenta. In this type of placenta, the chorionic villi are distributed in the form of patches. Suppose this is the uh, embryo. And the patches of chorionic villi are present all over. So here the placenta is present in the form of patches. Or the villi are present in the form of patches. This type of placenta is present in the cattle, cow, goat, sheep etc. 
cow, goat, sheep, camel, buffalo. These are the example of this type of placenta. Nextly, we have the fourth type that is called as metadiscoidal type of placenta. The fourth one is metadiscoidal type of placenta. In this type of placenta, firstly the villi are present in the form of villi. Now clear? Firstly the villi are present in the form of like this. And after that, this villi will convert into the form of a disc. Clear? So villi forms disc-like structure. This type of placenta is basically present in human beings and in all the primates in which firstly the chorionic villi will form and after that these villi will give rise to the structure of a disc like arrangement. This type of placenta is basically present in the human beings and the last one that is called as discoidal placenta discoidal placenta this type of placenta is present in the form of a disc at the beginning now from starting it is present in the form of disc so present in the form of disc at the beginning this type of placenta is basically present in rats uh, and in uh, rodents, rabbits, etc. Rats, rodents, rabbits, etc. This type of placenta is present. So these are the four important bases uh, on the basis of which we will know that how the placenta is classified. Now the placenta of human beings. In human beings, the placenta is what type of placenta is present in the human beings on these four bases? The placenta of human beings is first hemochorial. Hemochorial placenta is there. Second one is chorionic placenta on the basis of origin. Third one is third one is called as metadiscoidal third one is deciduate placenta and fourth one is the metadiscoidal placenta this type of placenta is basically present in the human beings so this is all about the classification of placenta on the basis of histology on the basis of uh, origin on the basis of behavior during parturition and on the basis of distribution of chorionic villi. In our next video, we will discuss about the extra embryonic membranes. Thank you very much.